Namaste everyone. In this video, we will be learning about convolution. So let's jump right next to convolution uh, code and some brief information about convolution. Let's get started. Uh, these are our dependencies. What is like RR? Okay, so we have imported NumPy as MP as NP. So here comes the difference. Okay, so it is this is the difference between uh, co correlation and convolution. Uh, in correlation, the kernel is uh, the kernel is uh, is put on the image as it is. For example, as you can see, so the kernel is put on the source pixel as it is. While in the convolution, the kernel is rotated by 180 degrees. And okay, so this is the main difference between correlation and convolution okay so now uh, uh, coming on to the algorithm so we take two image uh, we take two images one is the image uh, on which we are applying the convolution and the kernel which will be applied on the image okay so kernel is equal to con underscore transform uh, to differ to differ it from correlation okay so we get the height of image let me explain you with this example okay so we get height of the image for example uh, let's say this is the image pixel image matrix so one two three four five six seven so this is seven so uh, let me say that this is equal to seven uh, and uh, this is the height okay uh, actually height must be the number of holes so one two three four five six seven since it is a square matrix there will be no confusion or no dilemma regarding the height and the width okay then the kernel height and the width so kernel is three cross three so three and three then then high h is equal to kernel h kernel underscore h the kernel height by uh, uh, by by two to get in, uh, integer. Okay, integer value, value. Okay, so uh, we will be putting this this kernel over this image. So everything will start from over here because uh, it can cover it completely if we are starting from if we are starting from 0 comma 0 till uh, this is 2 comma 2 so and uh, rest of the values will be initially put 0 so this will be minus 8 so uh, as you can see that uh, the calculation is given over here 4 into 0 4 into 0 0 into 0 0 into 0 uh, till minus 4 times minus 2 okay so this will be equal to minus it so the new pixel value or the destination pixel is equal to minus 8 okay so now you uh, this is also an image and uh, taken for the illustration purposes so kernel is applied on the input image and then uh, it is uh, and then on in uh, at the destination pixel the value has been put okay so now starting from h to image of h minus image h minus h so this means that the uh, the for loop will start from over here from here to here and with, re uh, with respect to the height from here to here okay because it can start from 1 comma 1 till over here uh, and in this underlying square matrix okay so initially we put sum equal to 0 and we have uh, taken this output this uh, this output uh, output matrix in which we will have the convolved value so np dot zero image dot shape taking the same shape of the of the image pixel of the image matrix then for i in range h comma image so starting from here to here here to here 
okay so initially sum is equal to zero and again uh, since we are applying this filter on this filter we, uh, we need to add all of them so simple multiplication elementary multiplication will be over there uh, for example 4 into 0 0 into 0 till minus 4 into minus 2 so this is uh, this is an, another uh, nested for loop which will help us in finding out the sum value sum is equal to sum uh, so initially sum is set to zero zero plus the kernel value times the image value so and then image underscore conf uh, so we will be getting the convolved destination pixel value as equal to sum so then we return the image con uh, image con we can put this con uh, con dot p dot py in the python 3.5 then site packages and this folder so that it can be imported later on for our further uses uh, that's all for this video. Thank you.